Hello, hello. So I finally was able to go and pick up my new tank. Um, it's used, but um, it's a 75-gallon reptile tank. I have it standing on end because that's how we brought it down the stairs, and I have to clean it, so it'll probably be clean, easier to clean with it standing up. It came with uh, this chunky cocoa bark in the bottom, which I'm definitely going to reuse. It also came with some <laughs> free shed snake skins that I think the crabs will enjoy eating. So I may um, pick those out because I'm going to... Hi, Marnell. I'm going to mix the, the chunky cocoa fiber that's in there into the substrate once I start setting it up. It also came with um, this really nice big dish, which I'm probably going to use. And then it came with this thing, which is a huge, huge rock. But it is so, so heavy. I don't think I'm going to put it back in the crab attack because it's going to sink down into the substrate. And then it came with a pretty nice piece of driftwood also. So the tank is home. My sister and I managed to get it all the way down the basement stairs. <laughs> and it is heavy. But I've got it standing up so that I can get it cleaned up. And I'm going to try to go and get some shopping done today. Get my sand purchased and some other stuff so that I can, can finish setting this up. But I thought you guys might want to see it now that it's home. I'm going to do an entire video series of the setup on this tank so that I'll have um, a nice video at the end when I have all of the stages of it done. So just a quick scope to show off what's getting ready to happen. Hopefully in a week, maybe, <laughs> it'll be complete. The crabs won't be here until the weather warms up, which is fine. But once I get this set up and stable, um, I'm going to move some of the other crabs over into this tank. So they'll live in this one with the blueberries. But there it is. I'm just so excited <laughs> that it's finally here and I get to, to start a new setup that I wanted to share with you guys. All right, I got to go because Eric is in the middle of shopping. Thanks, Beth. Um, I pre-ordered some blueberries, yes, but Christian doesn't have them in yet, and he knows that I can't take delivery until it warms up. But, yes, I placed a deposit. Yeah, I placed a deposit on um, three of them. So he thinks the shipment is coming at the end of February. It was supposed to be in this week, and it got delayed, So, which is fine because the longer he has them you know, sitting at his place, um, he's losing money. You know, so um, I guess he's not losing money on the ones we already paid for. But if he gets more than what we ordered, then um, he would just be sitting on those. Yeah, it's still too cold, so it's fine that it takes a little bit longer. Um, it gives me more time with this tank, but like I told you, I'm super impatient. My major hurdle right now is what kind of light that I want to put on here. My lights that I have now are so terrible for taking pictures, so I've got to look into a nice LED light. But that doesn't have to happen, yeah, until it's all set up. You, the UVB is fine, like I can do the other UV lights, but I want a nice light for when I take photographs. Is that what you have, a, U, a UVB fluorescent? I'll probably message you and talk to you about, about your lights a little bit. Okay, well, I didn't want this to be a long scope. Like I said, it was just um, me being excited and wanting to show it off and let you guys see what's going to happen here. I finally got it in the house and down the stairs. It's still pretty heavy. I think this was meant to be an aquarium because the, the, the glass is quite thick. So it was a heavy booger, but it's in great shape. So I just need to do a little cleanup and get started. Okay, guys, uh, I'll talk to you later. Happy crabbing. See you guys later. Bye-bye.